What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I wanted to break down something with Neo, Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm gonna break down what's going on with the economic calendar moving forward, some very important factors involved in the markets, and why we have some very important data coming out for tomorrow that will cause some high volatility. But before I break things down all this information, before I talk about the data that's coming out and what this means for the markets, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks and offerings in just three days. Anyways, for Neo, we got this nice little pump yesterday only to get a rejection right back down. And Neo is looking a little bit more bearish now. It, it made an attempt to uh, bounce and it's actually failing to hold up very nicely. So I'll be looking to see how this ends up reacting, especially going into tomorrow. But tomorrow is going to be a very important day. We have some very important data coming out that I want to talk about. Looking at tomorrow, it's going to be Friday, June 28th, 2024. And we have the PCE data report coming out. We have basically PC, PCE month over month looking at 0 to 0.1%. 0 That's what we're expecting with year over year looking around 2.6%. And then for, um, that's actually, P that's PC for all items, by the way. And then on the core side, month over month, we're expecting 0.1%. So we'll have to see how that ends up looking like. And then core PCE year over year, we're expecting 26 to 2.7%. So are we going to get a decent PCE? What is my personal opinion? Well, CPI is highly correlated with uh, PCE. We actually have a chart right here that shows you. Notice how PCE and CPI move very, very similarly over time. And then when you look here, you'll see that CPI has been on a bit of a decline. So there's a very good chance we're going to get a decline in PCE data. And we're most likely going to see the data aligned with expectations, if not below expectations, in my personal opinion. Now, how will the market respond? Will we get a pump? Will we get a dump? I'll talk about that in just a few minutes. That's going to cause a very, very big move. Considering that there are lots and lots of these shorts expiring, we have about... Uh, you know, 460,000 calls expiring and over 1.8 million puts expiring. Will the market makers cause a squeeze and try to pump the markets higher? We'll just have to wait and see. For more data about the markets, we just had Nike announce its earnings as well. Nike ended up seeing its shares plunge after the retail retailer is saying that the quarterly sales have fallen 10% because of Chinese sales weakness, and it's cut its fiscal 2025 guidance. So not the best of news for them. Despite EPS and revenue being, uh, EPS was a beat, but revenue was a bit of a miss. The share price is still down quite a bit because of this bad news. Uh, that's because of the weakness in sales. For NEO, the upcoming Envo L60 is reportedly showing lots of similarities to the Tesla models and SPY shots. That's actually some interesting news. Uh, NEO is heavily compared with, with that of Tesla. But I'm not too worried about that because NEO and Tesla have their own capabilities. Uh, NEO has a very, very big advantage being in China for the domestic audiences over there. Uh, it's not as at big of an advantage compared to like the European markets and the others, but there is still a lot of growth potential because of their good products, because of the exposure that they are getting. Now, with that happening, uh, as NEO continues to grow, we're going to be looking for some strong numbers, especially for these last couple of days of June to get our next deliveries numbers. And they should be coming out very, very soon in just the next couple of days. Volume is slowing down at about 37 million. So that's below average. And we also are seeing the short volume going up to about 67%. Bank of America Securities is giving a neutral rating to NEO, and also the price price ratio is kind of like flat right now, as NEO is showing some weakness. We also tend to see more volatility, especially on Fridays. Fridays were green only about 53% uh, of the time, so we're hoping we get a decent balance on NEO, but that's not a guarantee as it depends on the PCE report. So technically speaking, NEO does look like it could uh, look a little bearish here. It might dip a little bit lower towards about 43 so I think there might be a little downside coming, but because it dropped so hard, we might try to rebound back up. So I'll be watching to see a little test of 4.3 tomorrow as the most likely technical move. But whether or not we get this big break depends on the PCE data report. So watch for that very carefully. That's going to cause some high volatility. If we get a decent PCE, NEO could drop and then bounce, by the way, by the way excuse me. And SPY also has potential. SPY is going to be testing 547 tomorrow. If we break that, this thing will easily start pushing for a new all-time high. If we lose support, if we end up rejecting and losing 543, I'll be looking for a big rug pull. We are currently in the middle right now, but I'm seeing some potential in spots to try to push higher, at least technically speaking. Now, with PC data coming out, considering that CPI was decent, the odds do favor the upside uh, because PC will most likely be decent. But I can't make any promises. We'll just have to wait and see because of other factors. For NVIDIA... If NVIDIA is bullish, you want to see this thing basically break past 
uh, 126 and eventually 130 to start pushing higher. And for bearish, you want to see it basically lose 122. If that fails, we'll be dipping down to about 120. But I see some more upside potential, at least in NVIDIA moving forward. I'll be watching for that as well. For Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a nice cup and handle like structure. If we break past 62,500, we'll be looking for a nice pump all the way up to these highs towards the 64,000 area. There is a chance that Bitcoin is trying to turn here as we had this low grabbing liquidity. We came up, made a higher low, so it might try to push higher tomorrow. But this depends on PCE, so we'll have to wait and see. But overall, it's showing some life. Tesla's looking more bullish. It looks like it wants to push into the 200s as it's continuing to break out. And we have a very, very nice looking inverse head and shoulders as we zoom out of the chart. It looks more bullish to me. So it favors more upside going into tomorrow. If we end up losing 194, I'll be looking for 191.6. But overall, it's looking more bullish. It looks like it wants to break out higher. And PC will play somewhat of a role, but technicals do look more bullish for it. For the QQQ, we look more bullish on the 4-hour, like we're trying to balance right here. If we continue to break it, I'll be looking for a test of about 483. If we break that, I think we're going to be going up to this imbalance at 485. And eventually, these highs up here. So the market is looking more bullish to me. Uh, we have a nice inverse head and shoulders, so it favors the upside. But just to be safe, we will wait and see what happens with PCE. And if we lose 478, we'll be looking for a dip, but the technicals do look like they're favoring a balance. Apple's also trying to rebound off a nice inverse head and shoulders. If we're bullish, you want to see break past 216 to push up to 220. If we're bearish, you want to see 212 be broken to come back down to 209. So we'll see how things go, but overall, we're looking a bit more bullish. For a few more tickers, we have Supermicro looking a bit more bullish. Going to be watching 900 as resistance if this breaks. We're going back up to about 920, so it has more upside potential, in my personal opinion. For a Coinbase... Coinbase is now trying to break out right here. If we break past 225, we're going to be looking for 230. There's a lot of potential, at least for this moving forward. Amazon's also building momentum, trying to climb higher and higher. This may slowly climb up to 200. There's no sign of weakness, and it's continuing to look bullish. Now, whether this continues will also depend on the PCE data report, but technicals remain strong as of right now. Meta is also looking pretty strong, trying to break out towards 520. If we keep breaking out, I'll be looking at 523, then 525. It looks more bullish. We'll see if PCE helps this as well, or if it causes a rug pull, but it does favor the upside. Microsoft is looking more bullish, trying to break out to 455. Google's looking more bullish, trying to break out to 187. And then eventually 190 could be a potential target, looking bullish. GME is testing its 50 EMA around 25.57. If we break this, we could be pushing for this imbalance towards 28. And if we fail to do so, we could reject, but it looks more bullish to me. AMC is also looking more bullish. Going to be looking to see if we could break past 4.74. If that breaks, we'll be looking for $5. Looks more bullish as well. Anyways, the market looks bullish. It looks like the market wants to push, technically speaking, but I can't make any promises. This is going to depend a lot on the PCE data report. Considering that CPI was decent, that means the market might... Uh, uh, excuse me, because uh, CPI was decent, there's a good chance that PCE will be decent too. Neo looks like it might dip a little bit towards support at 4.3, and we'll see if we get a bounce off that. Look for a little dip tomorrow, and then we'll see if we get a bounce after PCE comes out. So I'll see how Neo does. Look for a little dip to 4.3, and we'll see if we get that move to the upside after that for a little bit of a dip and then a bounce from there. With that being said, thank you for listening, guys. I'll see you guys very soon on the next one, and peace out.